What is up, Core Addicts? Welcome back to the series where I recustomize and review past DLC vehicles that didn't have good microphone quality before mid-2019. So as always, guys, feel free to let me know down below in the comments what car you want to see me recustomize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Benefactor Schlagen GT, which I customized slash reviewed back in early 2019 when it released. So the Schlagen GT released with the Arena War update drip feed in January of 2019 and is available for a legendary motorcycle website for a price of 1.3 million. In regards to performance, it's in the sports car class and is a top 30 performing vehicle in that class for track performance, which is pretty decent but not all that great in the grand scheme of things. And that's mainly due to its handling, which is decent, but it's a bit lackluster compared to other upper tier sports cars the handling is sort of like average sports car handling but it definitely rips in a straight line it's very quick in that regard now in terms of what the Schlagen GT is based on it's primarily based on the first gen Mercedes AMG GT mixed with the BMW Z4 concept as well a bit of a strange combination they're mixing a Mercedes with a BMW but you can definitely see the similarities in the front bumper the headlights side vents and taillights as well but it, it kind of works it, it looks good anyways let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Schlagen GT all right doing? Schlagen GT let's do it love 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 this car Anything all right armor brakes Bumpers, carbon extender, kind of flattens out the front end, looks great. Different color variations. Then we have the race splitter, gives us some canards there, and the reinforcement little bracket there. Kind of also gives a different um, like shape to the splitter as well. Okay. And the same one with what appears to be a tow hook and a little bit more of curvature there in the splitter. Okay. All right. I mean, I feel like these are a little a little too race car for me. <laughs> um, I'd like the carbon extender, though, so I think we'll do that. There's a nice front splitter there. Uh, rear bumpers, you have carbon vents, so it's kind of like a diffuser-looking system there. And you got primary, secondary, then a carbon diffuser like, added to the bottom of that. Looks pretty decent. All right, we'll do that. Your cosmetics are on point. Uh, chassis racing seats oh, okay so it has the racing seats in there and then with dials oh okay also deletes our review mirror okay oh and this has the roll cage primary secondary yeah I don't like the racing seats in here I'm not building a race car so I definitely want the standard seats so we'll keep that engine will max out exhaust Alright, so you get the triple out back, so stock is the dual and you can do a triple, looks pretty good. And then you have race exhaust, which it comes out of the side there, kind of like a Mercedes SLR, looks pretty cool. Then you have the, like a different vent on the side there with the same exhaust. And then here you have the competition side exhaust. Interesting, so it comes out of the sides there. Okay, so this comes out there behind the front wheel, and this one comes out in front of the back wheel. Interesting. Also shows the exhaust kind of exposure a little bit too, the piping. Um, hmm. I, mean, I still kind of want the exhaust coming out of the rear of the car, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do the triple. We'll do that. Um, alternate grill. The alternate grill. I mean, it looks pretty much identical to a standard, um, real Mercedes AMG GT. So that's that's cool. Um, and you have the double, and then you have the classic grill, which is, you know, a lot more similar to like an AMG GTR, for example, or, you know, most of the performance models of the AMG DT. Very nice. Um, then you can just change the logo, so you can do carbon, uh, primary, or secondary. Interesting. Um, I feel like I want to stick with the carbon, because um, if you do a bright color, let's say, I don't know, lime green, it's going to be weird to have a lime green logo there. So I think I'll stick with the, the essentially black, which is just carbon in this case. So we'll do that. Um, hood, you have the sport vents. Again, pretty much identi identical to a real AMG GT. So that's awesome. Um, then you have a carbon variant of that. And you have a race vent. And then you have a rounded vent. So like the same one we just saw, the sport vent, but with 
another vent added to it there in the center, which actually looks pretty good. I quite like that. Uh, then you got this one, alternate rounded vent. Also, oh, this one has more of a dip to it. And this one looks a bit cleaner. Actually, I like this one a little bit more. Oh, that's nice. And you have different um, like race hoods and stuff there. Okay. Yeah, I like the alternate rounded vent. That's nice. Let's go with that. Yep, yeah, okay. Um, lights, do some xenons. Liveries. Red stripes. Offset stripe. Little Schlagen GT there, looks good. You got white, you got mosaic splash. You got some racing style liveries and such. Okay, um, I don't really like a livery on this car, although if I was gonna put a livery, it'd definitely be this one, this is, this is a good one, but it won't work with the color I'm gonna do, so. Uh, mirrors, we got uh, stock, primary and carbon. So I guess stock is secondary and then this is primary and then carbon. I'm gonna do the carbon. Plate, we'll do the, let's go with a black plate. And then I got my normal Benz plate here, somewhere oh, at the bottom, perfect. Respray, so for this I wanna do kinda like a solar beam yellow reference. Um, you know, there's a million different special hex out there and stuff, but honestly, if you go with a, a metallic um, normal yellow, not the race yellow, the regular one. Actually, it looks pretty decent. Um, so we'll go with that. And then the pearlescent, we're going to tone it down a little bit, make it a gold pearl. And honestly, that's not too bad. I mean, solar beam yellow is a bit darker, but this still looks pretty good. Um, secondary color is the mirrors that we changed to carbon. Um, and also your interior stitching, which is kind of cool. So. I want to make that match. We'll do the yellow there. I don't know if you do the yeah, the race yellow will be too bright. So we'll do the regular yellow. Looks fantastic. And then we have trim color, which is the interior color, which I'm gonna keep black because red or yellow or anything will just not match that well. Um, even white, I don't think looks right in this interior with this color. It definitely needs to be the black with the yellow stitching. So we'll keep the standard graphite there. Um, crumbling for this car goes on the doors. Okay. Roof. So you have secondary, carbon, alternate, secondary, alternate. So there's like a little inset in the roof there. Um, definitely the carbon gives us some nice contrast. Looks fantastic. Skirts, primary, extended. Secondary, you got the carbon. Then you got the race skirts with the fin, which sticks out a little bit too far for my taste. Um, but you got that option there. I'm gonna do the carbon extended to kind of match our front splitter there. Spoiler upgrade, so you have no spoiler, you can just delete it. Okay. Then you have the small spoiler, which is almost identical to the real AMG GTR spoiler. Fantastic, love that. Um, then you got street spoiler, so you know you have all the larger wings if you wanna go with something a bit more race car crazy. So you have all those different options there, just wild. Um, but I'm definitely going to go with the AMG GTR spoiler here. It looks beautiful. Sun strips. If you want to do a race car build, you know, I'll definitely go with that. Um, suspension. This car definitely needs to be lowered. It sits way too high. And honestly, I think the lowest suspension is the way to go. So we'll do that. Um, transmission. Turbo. Wheels. So for this, I'm going to go with... I'm thinking... I'm between like two wheels. I'm thinking either the... I mean, my, honestly, I love the stocks, especially in black, but you can't normally paint them unless you, you know, get it off the dealership with the black stocks or whatever, or, or merge it, glitch it. Um, I can't do that right at this moment, so for now, I'm going to compromise <laughs> with a um, different wheel, and I think the, the Hyper Fresh in black looks good. Um, or we could also go with the Mercy Concaves as well. Um, so I'm kind of between those two. Let's see how the Mercies, the Mercies always look great. <laughs> and then the, let's see the, let's see how the Hyper Fresh looks. Those look good too. Hmm. Really tough. I feel the black is a bit too dark. I think we should go, we got Anthracite black. It looks a bit better. Yeah, I'm really feeling the, um, the Mercy Concaves. The Hyper Fresh looks good too. Tough choice. But ultimately, I think I'm going to go with the, Go with the mercies. All right, windows, do the light smoke. I don't want too dark of tints there. And that's all the options. All right, exit to ground. Let's take it for a drive. That is 
Beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. Alright. So a little bit of sunlight we have left here. Color came out pretty good. Not bad. I mean, for a simple, you know, solar beam style build with, you know, without any special hex or anything, it looks pretty good. I love the yellow stitching in the interior. Just gives it a nice contrast. Love that. All right, floor it. This car sounds absolutely incredible. It's a similar exhaust note to the Shafter V12, but you know, fine tuned. Um, it, it's it's not as aggressive as a Shafter V12 exhaust note because obviously, this is um, you know has V8 style. I guess they kind of tried to more like fine tune it for a V8 exhaust note, like an AMG V8, and it definitely sounds like that. Sounds fantastic. It should have given this thing pops. Can you imagine? That would have been nuts. Kind of like the XA21. That would have been insane. Or like the Schlagen, the Schlagen GT. Uh, no, this is the Schlagen GT. The Sterling GT has the pops. That they should have. Man, this car with the pops would have been nuts. Drives pretty well. Um, obviously, this thing. I mean, I think it would definitely be in top 20 performance-wise in the class. If it wasn't for, I think the handling is what holds this car back. Because the straight line speed is great. The straight line speed is definitely there, you know, for it to be, you know, an upper tier sports car. But I think it just lacks a bit in the handling department, unfortunately. So, yeah. Looks good, though. All right. Let's go ahead and open all the doors and stuff here. Great. I mean, just such a good looking car. It really is. If I remember correctly, this thing has a really nice engine model. So let's go here to manage vehicles, vehicle preferences, go all. Yep, there's the engine model. Not bad. I mean, it's a, it's it's basically an engine cover, <laughs> um, kind of similar to the real car from far away, very far away. But <laughs> when you get up close, you know, it's not the best. But I mean, for you know, it came out in 2019, so I mean, it wasn't too bad. Um, and of course, we have the interior. It's reused in a ton of sports cars, but it does work decently well. And this one, we got the hatch there. So, I mean, not too bad. Everything opens up. Um, good customization. Can really good exhaust note. Um, it's pretty nice to drive. It's just a great car. It really is. Um, 1.3 million. You know, it definitely sounds expensive, but considering how expensive everything is these days in GT Online for a nice sports car, um, it has just it's just a really good looking car. I honestly think it's worth it so yeah let me know what you guys think down below in the comments thanks again for watching guys and as always let me know what vehicle you want to see me customize next uh from mid 2019 and older we used to do mid 2018 but a lot of you guys were suggesting some newer cars so i figured you know might as well let's go ahead and uh start you know revisiting those as well um but i'm definitely not going to dip into 2020 because i think that's way too soon but uh yeah, thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.